Now, moving on to a completely different issue, the Finance Minister Pranab Mukherjee has stepped in to quell speculation over the role of the recently announced Financial Stability and Development Council, or FSDC. He has clarified that the council will not assume the role of a super regulator, leading to several regulators heaving a sigh of relief. But what will the council do if that is indeed the case? Well, Vijay Iyer has the details. The setting up of the FSDC or Financial Stability and Development Council proposed in the budget speech by the Finance Minister was being seen by many as India's answer to a super regulator. But the man chairing the body, Finance Minister Pranab Mukherjee, clarified in a recent public address in the presence of the Prime Minister and the RBI Governor that this was not the Council's mandate. With the RBI Governor slated to head the coordination panel in FSDC, speculation grew that some powers of functioning regulators like SEBI, PFRDA and IRDA may move on to this body. While the FM has sought to allay such fears, the high-powered body is likely to wield great influence, though not all regulators are perturbed by this. Really for the regulators to meet each other in an informal setting and also to meet experts, also get the government's thinking on board, because you know regulators are independent, but the government is accountable to the parliament. But all this needs to be done in a manner which is systematic, periodic, and not in a kind of a directive way, but in a you know professional participatory way. So that's what the FSDC will do. The finance minister might have doubted some of the speculative fire on the super regulatory front, but how the council will function and the issues it will look into still remain a fuzzy subject for most. For instance, whether the SEBI IRDA spat on ULIPS will be dealt with by the high level coordination committee or the council remains a big question. Bureau report, NDTV profit. Tuba.com